my first guest tonight is a very beautiful movie star. She's in the Nanny McPhee Returns movie, which is about Nanny McPhee who returns. <laughs> Spoiler alert. It's in theatres August the 20th, which is soon. <laughs> Take a look at this. Very strict about such matters. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm excited about this film because my friend Emma is in it and she was there, that was her. That was her. Emma Thompson, she's here tomorrow night. She told me, yeah. she told me she was going to tell me a story about you, but then we couldn't catch up in time. I wonder what. It might be something rude. <laughs> I had that feeling. Yes, well you mustn't believe all the stories you hear about the enormous endowment. Um, <laughs> um, it's just a rumour that I started. I was wondering if, um... Yes. If I could have your sexy fireman calendar. Uh, oh, you the one that Betty White brought? Sexy. Yeah, 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 you can actually. I think I think it's here somewhere. Hang on. Uh, there's Did some... I mention I'm single? <laughs> Jeffrey Peterson, he's, uh, yeah, he, he'll be all right. Here, I've got this, and here's a mask. No, not um, exactly what I was looking Mitchell for. Mitchell Liza Minnelli. <laughs> This I'll take, I'll take Picture this. Picture of uh, Eddie Izzard. <laughs> no, I can't find my sexy fireman calendar, I'm afraid. I'll keep this one. All right, then. But I keep that because it looks like me. Huh. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah. Is it, oh, is that the, oh, bring it on out, would you? Oh, yeah. Uh, there you go. Thanks. Thank you, Margaret. <laughs> there you go. Do you enjoy pornography, is it, Maggie? Is it really signed? No, it's not really signed. They're, and also, some of these guys aren't really firemen. Oh, that's disappointing. Really? I think so. I, I, that's I, that's, I that's that. fine. So, are you a big collector of uh, male erotica? No, but I do kind of have... I kind of do have a thing for firemen. All women have a thing for firemen. I know. Yeah, no, I that, 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 no you know why. If it's a, if it's like a rescue me kind of fantasy or something, but I'm married, happily married, but I have like a little. Yeah, thing you're happily married to someone, but would they would be able to rescue you from a burning building? I think so. I think so. But you can look at firemen. It's okay, right? In a calendar. Sure, or on a should website, we, should we, or should we talk about? <laughs> I feel like this is verging really far from the topic of my, the, child, the children's movie that I make. <laughs> well, that is true. So, do you have sexy firemen in the, uh, no, the Nanny McPhee movie? No, absolutely not. I like the, the first Nanny McPhee movie. It's very good. I yeah. did too. I did too. And, and I, I think that ours is better. Oh, wow. That's... <laughs> that's... That's fighting words. Uh, did you make it over in England? We did. I'm sorry my voice went high there. I was thinking about the sexy fireman gallery. <laughs> We did. We where, made it where in, in England, in London? In London, in Oxfordshire. I used to live in London, you know. But you're Scottish. Yes, sadly. An American now. So I American heard. too. Yeah, I got my tattoo. Did you Everyone, get yours? No. Oh, you have the the broken snake. Oh yeah, I got the broken snake, and then I've got this tattoo here as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you have any? Do you have any tattoos? No, no, not a one. Would you ever think about getting tattoos? I. I have been thinking about tattooing Mrs. Sarsgaard in the small of my back. <laughs> but presumably your husband, Mr. Sarsgaard, will be the only one to see it and he already knows. Yeah, but I felt like that would be like a great gift for him. Get my hat. <laughs> Mrs. Sarsgaard yeah, hat? Mrs. Sarsgaard. I don't know if that would World's have the same effect. Dad, you know? <laughs> No, I think that would be rather nice, actually. Yes, you should have yourself inked. I don't know. I don't know. I've been thinking about it. I kind of thought someone gave me as a wedding gift a, a, a tattoo that said Mrs. Sarsgaard, and I thought, on the small of my back, that would be pretty hot. You mean a, t a tattoo? They, they sort of drew a tattoo. Oh, right. You know, I see, they didn't actually take some human skin. <laughs> and no. It was like, you had a serial killer come to your wedding? Put the lotion in the basket. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. 
would be kind of creepy, wouldn't it? That would be yeah. very creepy. It puts all those men at skin. I like doing that. I don't know why. You can do it again if you want. Uh, no, like right. So you were in London. I love London because I like uh, the uh, I like the Indian food in London. Yeah, someone was telling me that about you. I didn't have Indian food at the right places, but I love. I'd never had great Indian food, but I love London. You did have good Indian food in London. No. You want to go uh, Le Port des Indes? Did you go there? No. Well, that's where you go. It's the, it's French for the door to India, mm. and that's because in India, that's where the curry started, you know. Uh, Indian food started in India. Right. <laughs> okay, the door to India. The pork design is very, very nice. Okay. Yeah, very, very pleasant place. I loved, I love London. I've shot, you know, my husband shot a movie there, and I've, th I've shot two. I'm going to shoot another one there in the fall. Really? Um, did, you yeah. have, did you have a house over there? No, no, but I, I love it. Although, you know, there are those kind of language things in oh, yeah, yeah. which kind of really can get you in trouble. I know. Yeah. <laughs> did you say funny? Uh, I love that one. Yeah, yeah. Because no, no, you can say funny anything. You fanny like. pack. Fanny, fanny pack. I know a fanny, girl named Fanny Singer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think, I don't know how she'd do over there. But over there, fanny is a rude word for a vagina. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is the one that happened to me. Um, on a movie set here, they call it a touch-up if they touch, uh, if, you know, if they fix your makeup. Mm. And everyone just says that all the time. But I get, uh, there, they call it checks. Checks. You know, do, can someone do checks on Maggie? And that means, you know, to fix my makeup. Touch you up, yeah. And um, I didn't want to say checks because I thought I would sound really pretentious and I should just talk like an American person. But it mm. turns out that to touch you up means to fool around, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Can someone touch me up? Is there someone? <laughs> hey, uh, the American girl wants someone to pat her on the fanny. <laughs> That'd be nice. So where do you live then if you don't live in, uh, in, in London? Do you live in the United I live, States? I live in Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn. That's in America. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's very nice there. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't been to Brooklyn in years. It's gone all posh now, hasn't it? It's nice there. Yeah. My, um, my mom grew up in Brooklyn, actually. Is she really? Yeah. I'm you really don't sound there. like you're from Brooklyn. Mm, no, I grew up here in California. Really? Yeah. Uh, which part? The valley? No, do I sound like that? No, no, no. I just—it's the—it's the only part I know. I didn't mean to. Uh, not that there's anything wrong. Oh no, I look forward to your letters anyway. The, the, so what part did you grow up in? I grew up um, in the kind of the east side, like Silver Lake and Hancock Park. That's very cool over there. That's where people have little beards and That's play the bongos. How I got so yes. Cool. <laughs> but I, I haven't—I haven't been living here in years. I moved to New York when I was 17, and I've mm. been there since then. And I was born in New York. Really? Yeah. Mm. Whereabouts? You know, what are you doing? Hey. What are you doing? Being born requires very little skill. But I have also birthed someone who was well, born that's, in New that's York, more, which more required skill, a yeah. lot Actually, more having skill. a baby is, is, you know, is admirable. <laughs> Just being born? Come on, we've all done it. <laughs> um, so, so, so... What age is your, is your child? What age is she? Mm. She's almost four. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, you got her a gun or anything yet? Have I gotten her gun? <laughs> no, but it's interesting, I think, how that just comes up. You know, she's, she said to me, she said to me, uh, I'm interested in guns, she said. Good to know your kid's a little American. You got a little American in that. That must be reassuring. I think she has a couple kids in her, in her class who've been, you know, playing. Well, that with worries me, actually, the idea of kids playing with. Yeah. They do, though. I don't know where it comes from. I mean, we're pretty hippie, you know. She's not going to be having any guns, but it comes up. Do you eat a lot of vegetables? I do. I eat a lot of do vegetables. Do you eat exclusively vegetables? Not exclusively, no. I see. <laughs> so you're a meat eater. I'm a meat eater. Mm. <laughs> you know... Uh, that, I'm waiting means, for where this is going. No, 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 I just, that means something completely different in Britain. That's all I mean. Uh, Again, this is a children's movie. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Right. Absolutely, you're show. absolutely right. And a very good children's movie, the last one was, and this is the sequel to it. So every, It's great. It really is. It really is. I mean, it's kind of a... You know, I, I've been starting to watch kids' movies because my well, daughter's yeah, four. Well, yeah, I do that all the time. Huh? Um, you have children? Yeah, yeah. Why? Why? Why, why wouldn't I have children? <laughs> I, was, I was just a little concerned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Um, Actually, my wife's expecting another one. Oh, really? Yes. How far along is she? Oh, she's not pregnant. She's just waiting by the bus stop in case one day. <laughs> uh, she's uh, she's about, about uh, 15, 16 weeks. 
15, 16 weeks. Yeah, yeah, oh, so she's, she's passed the first trimester. Yeah. How's she feeling? Um, great. <laughs> in no way short tempered. Beautiful in every way, glowing every day, a vision of loveliness from dawn <laughs> until dusk. I actually think I was in a better mood pregnant. Actually, my wife's handling very well. She's, she's good at it. She's kind of what was around the house, kind of enjoying it. Yeah, it gives you those hormones that make you not worry about being fat, make you like kind of, it just chills you out. I have them. You? you have those? <laughs> <laughs> Fancy an awkward pause? Yeah. yeah right. We sometimes when we have the very good actors on, we do an awkward pause. Oh. Yeah. And then come in close on me? Yeah, if you want. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, hold on. I, it's a special instruction. That means you move the camera, you know, you, you, you move a little bit closer. Is that what's happening? I don't know. They... <laughs> Yeah, there you go, zoom in. Make it a little more tense. Put some music on it. Do we have any music? Oh, I'll do it. And they'll never get it in time. You ready? <laughs> very slowly closer to us, huh? <laughs> Nice to see you again, Fanny. <laughs> this is, um, this is the longest I've ever been on a talk show. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Maggie Gyllenhaal, everybody. Good